Boy Scouts come in handy. Square knot. Yeah, can't go nowhere. Resourceful is just one of many words you could use to describe Heisman finalist quarterback Kyle Trask, who has returned to Gainesville in preparation for his pro day. In the past few months, I've just been out in Irvine, California, and just been you know, training with a, a group called 3D QB. So they train you know, a lot of the top guys. Like I know they, they've trained you know, Breeze, um, Andy Dolan, you know, Carson Wentz, Jared Goff. You know, the list goes on and on. So, I really figured you know, I couldn't go wrong training with them. And, you know, we've just been working on like, little intricate things that you know people might not notice um, in your throwing motion. And you know, they're really good at that, finding little things to tweak. Um, so just things with footwork, um, you know, rotation your hips, which way your hips are moving in the throwing motion, little details that can just help you be more efficient. Making sure my legs are primed up and ready to go. Nothing too heavy. Uh, just some light work, keeping the legs moving, uh, making sure we're 100%, you know, come Wednesday. As pro day nears, Kyle isn't the only Gator getting into town. And I was in uh, Tampa, Florida with uh, your, your Murphy performance, just training, uh, three months worth of training. Making sure I'm staying healthy, uh, you know, we were just out here today just polishing some things, working on our starts and stuff like that, but just making sure I'm feeling good going in so I can just put on the best performance I can. Been going great, you know. Um, I had went out to Dallas to MJP. Um, got some pl plenty good work out there. Went to the Senior Bowl, got some work. So um, basically, just like me focusing on training. The pre-drive like really going successful for me. Yeah. Like when you say you backpedaling <laughs> and snatch, snatch a pull. Um, we just came out just to get some extra work in on 40 stars, DB drills, and just doing light stuff, not overworking ourselves, so we can just be ready to go Wednesday. Perhaps no one from the 2020 Gator football team did more to help their draft stock last season than its most explosive playmaker. Kadarius Tony put fear in the hearts of defenders and is certainly on the wish list for offensive coordinators all across the National Football League. Damn! Damn! That water grew the beard. I right, then. I right, then. <laughs> He's <laughs> great. Yes, sir. <laughs> you been good, what? Damn right. What up, man? Explain that thing to you. Yeah, I already know. Wait, wait, do you want to just like warm up first? I haven't really thrown it. For the KTs, getting back in sync shouldn't be too much of a problem after combining for 10 touchdowns and nearly 1,000 yards of offense last season. Just inside the gate of 49. Trash gonna go deep. He's got Tony, and he's got it. Touchdown, Florida. Canarius Tony. It's exciting to really be back in. You know what I'm saying? Get in the loop back with everybody again. Cause it was like that time away. It felt long, but it was kind of a short time period, but it like you missed so much in that person's life. You know what I'm saying? Just being able to catch up with them guys and link back up. Uh, left side, got a basic, so just 10 yards. Just working on routes a minute ago, like getting that timing back together, like felt good just being back in there and knowing, you know what I'm saying, somebody believe in me and I believe him in the same exact way, like he a real leader. Like. There may not be an opponent on the field, but the preparation and commitment to perfection is what it takes to succeed at the next level. It's what made the 2020 Gators offense one of the most explosive in school history. We gotta keep building this chemistry day by day. Like we wanna, you know what I'm saying, have more sessions to where when it's time to show it, it's as clean as like we never left. Like we was back on the same page how we were. You feel me, killing it in 2020, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Timing back down. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't worry. Trying to come back Monday, ain't it? Yeah. I right, better. I better. Monday. We'll, we'll crank it up a little bit. Right. And then 
man. Let it loose on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess you gotta get rid. Oh, yeah. No, it looks good, though. I mean, we got that timing back down, so we should be good. Yeah, we'll be ready to show them what we can do for real. Yeah, no. We're gonna crush it, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a packed house. When you spend so much time and energy working towards achieving a goal, it's important to have a solid support system around you. No matter how many people are in your corner, it's hard to compete with the loyalty shown by man's best friend. This is Brax, he's eight and a half months. We got him last fall and um, he lived with us here in Gainesville and now he's with me in Tampa. So he's very excited to have Kyle in town. It was definitely a great homecoming whenever Kyle, Kyle came to Tampa first before he came here and Brax has been at his hip ever since. <laughs> it's been good definitely for me because obviously we miss him so um, it's good to have him here and to have help with Brax is always nice. Um, I didn't realize how hard it was by myself but for him too I know that he missed us and he literally always calls me and he's like can I see Brax? I'm like what about me? But he's I think it's definitely good for him with, during this like stressful time to have the time to like relax and just be able to take his mind off football things and just have fun with him, so. Definitely so excited for him. Obviously, I always say that he like deserves all of this and I, he's such a hard worker, so it's just so, it's been so cool seeing him out in California like doing his own thing and like seeing him grind and just, I know he's so deserving of it and so hardworking, so I'm just really, really excited for him. Take a look at any mock draft or big board across the country and you would have a hard time not finding Kyle Pitt's name towards the top of either one. Get settled, so you crack and roll. Cross, 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 cross. Come on, come on. Woo! Woo! Look at that time. The goal is we want to get under five seconds. He want to get five reps under five seconds, a speed bench. That's what we want. So he got five reps in 4.4 seconds. It, it builds up um, his nervous system, his core, and it gives him a rhythm. You know what I'm saying? So it, it actually conditions the muscles for conditioning. So the 225 is not whether if he can lift it, it's how long he can lift it. So we want to keep his first win, what we call, you know, getting his second win, his first win, we want that number before he stop and regather himself to, if he's trying to hit 25, we want him to rip out anywhere from 10 to 15 before he get his second win and then press out the rest of them. Through it all, there has been one consistent thing that has taken Kyle Pitts from an unknown freshman to a household name, hard work. Having Kyle Pitts is like having an elite quarterback. Hmm. He will make everybody else's job easier. He will make everybody around him better. So his impact is absolutely spectacular. It's Travis Kelsey. Okay, it's Travis Kelsey with the Kansas City you know, Chiefs. Here, a lot of tight ends had high grades, but this is the highest ever for me. Uh, you know, in terms of a tight end, he's going to be way up there. Kyle Pitts is. It has been said to me personally, and also others are reporting, Kyle Pitts is the best player in this draft. Daniel Jeremiah, who I think is the best in the business at doing this, he's got him as his number two overall player in this draft. He's the best player in the draft. He's the only can't miss in the draft as long as he doesn't get hurt. This kid played against Patrick Sertain, who's the first or second best corner in the country for Alabama. Ate him up. <laughs> okay. He's going to walk into this league and tear it up as a rookie. Bar take out five or six teams. He'll be your best wide receiver. When there is so much outside noise around you, it is important to surround yourself with a support system that has been there <laughs> since day one. Hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck about to fall off. Next thing you gonna say, my trap's on fire. I gotta stop. <laughs> my trap, I gotta stop. 
Been my trainer since I was in seventh grade, even when I was a PB with no offers. I guess you could say he called it first. You know, he was the one saying, uh, he going to the league. He going to the league. Skinny old me. He seen it first. He was you know, one of the first couple to build a foundation. So, still got him here on the journey. Nope. What'd I say? Nope. He tried to act all crazy, light work. Nope. Light, now look at him. I'm nope. Done. nope. Ain't nobody say I was done. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? How can I be done? This is my game in here. <laughs> all I heard was, I'm done. My shirt is on fire. What I say? I told about 20 minutes, no 10 minutes ago. Make sure I show off. I say not one Light work. About Light work. Man. Now he about to sit on behind you. You making an album? Legs is just swinging. You making an album right now? Legs swinging on the. You making an album? All that rapping you doing? A loose environment is key to keeping you relaxed during a stressful time. But it doesn't change the end goal or the work that needs to be done to get there. You can't overshoot. We don't want to turn it into from there to there to 11. We want to keep it at 10. I, I jump at 8. I don't care where you jump, just don't turn this into 11. We don't want to come here. It's going to kill my time. I want to actually get here. So when I get to like that? Yes. And you can start getting ready to break down. Boom, boom, here. I want to get as close. If I shoot over, I don't, no more than that. If I have to shoot over. Here, I'm dead in the water. Here, I'm good here. I really want this here. Open back up, run, run all the way through. Four two. Whew. Any of these drills, if you stumble, shut it off and restart. If you get down there and that stance is not comfortable in any of these drills, just stand back up. Because if you go, the clock gonna go. If you're running at four, they're not gonna clock you and say, oh, he ran a four six, but he stumbled. They're just gonna say he ran a four six. We're looking for a seven. But as long as I run under eight. Oh, dude, stop playing with me. I could go back to Philly. You will never run that. For real? Yeah. You know how long, you know how slow you got to be to run an eight? You got to be 350 pounds. Oh. Not run an eight. Six eight is flying. Six eight is jet speed. Seven is great speed. Oh. Seven, seven, one, somewhere around in here. You know, I think with Kyle, the, the importance of it is, you know, we already had that chemistry. So that time it was just clockwork. Getting back here, it's like butter. Same thing, same thing during the season like we do. We mess up, get it back, and make sure that's perfect. Because this is an important day for both of us. So being able to, you know, make this day real smooth, timing and, and preparation is, is key. It would be pretty difficult to find a more effective one-two punch in college football last season than Kyle to Kyle. It was time for the kid from Texas and the kid from Philly to knock some of the rust off. Yeah. You gotta go one more. We'll, we'll yeah, we'll not. go over it tomorrow, and then we'll chill Tuesday or I'll do whatever. Hey, 
Hey, what up, man? There you go. Sweet. You know what I'm saying? There you go. One of the most anticipated pro day performances is that of cornerback Marco Wilson, whose 2020 season was filled with highs, lows, and learning experiences that he would carry with him for life. Obviously, with the shoe throw, does that get brought up? How do you kind of address that? And do you just take it head on or put the past in the past? Uh, sometimes the LSU play gets uh, gets brought up, uh, but I, I don't run away from it. I mean, it's part of my life and things happen. Um, and I just answer them uh, in, the, in the way I need to, which is an LSU game. Uh, had a lot of energy, made a good play, um, was excited, and uh, just made an unfortunate mistake, you know, and that's all that is. Uh, I wish it never happened, but um, things happen. Everything's not going to go your way. Uh, you're going to face adversity in your life. Um, and just see how this can affect my team, affect me, affect my family, stuff like that. Um, I opened my, my eyes to a lot of things. Um, it's certainly not something I'll ever do again. It taught me a lot of lessons uh, for moving forward in my life. With all of his energy not focused solely on training, there are no details missed. It's time to let his work ethic speak for itself. I uh, really just, I'm looking at my technique, my start, uh, what my drive phase is looking like, if I'm keeping my head down, stuff like that, just to make sure I'm doing everything I need to do to make sure I got a good run. Yeah, look at it, just try to critique myself and then try to get on the next start. Among the Gators putting the finishing touches on their training is highly athletic defensive lineman T.J. Slate. Training's been going well. Uh, you know, just trying to put in the work, learn the techniques, we do things right, correctly, first time. Fun experience, man. It's like doing these, all this stuff that's like, now you just start to get the opportunity, you know, to play on the bigger stage. It's just everything, it's just like, surprising. Just like, just word of advice, just have fun with it. I mean, the last two months have been a lot of fun. Uh, I've gotten to travel around a lot um, and kind of go work with my coach and just kind of work on the smaller details and kind of perfecting my craft. And uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, just getting to travel around, see a lot of people and uh, seeing my progress. So. The whole process is just kind of knowing my body, uh, knowing the limits, not kind of overdoing it, uh, you know, these couple days leading up to pro day. And so just making sure you know, I'm hitting full stride and um, really at top peak of my performance going, in, going into pro day. What well, I've been trying to improve on is just uh, hitting a straighter ball, a truer ball flight. And that really just comes down to foot position. And yeah, it'd be easy to explain it to a, to a kicker, but in this, it, it, Pretty much all boils down to my keeping my heel uh, low to the ground and driving it through the ball. We're just working on ball rotation and uh, making sure we get a straight ball flight. Months of planning and training have led you to the doorstep of the biggest job interview of your life. It is important to remember what got you there. Taking the time to appreciate all of the elements that, when all together, can create something truly special and unforgettable.
No different than a game day, the time has come, and it's time to show the world what they can do. Stay down the That's good. Come on up. And sit your shoulders back. That's good. That's better. Nice work. Good job. After a series of tests, it is officially time to hit the field. We take a lot of pride in our guys having a lot of success beyond here. Okay, uh, beyond here, wherever they get drafted, that they still have success and they're able to make contributions to your team. If you, anybody, if you have questions, if you need it from me, our position coaches, we're going to be around today. Come up and ask us about guys. Uh, I think we have a great group of young men that are here today. Feeling good, ready to go. Let's see. Future NFL stars galore as we look right now at Florida's Pro Day going on in Gainesville. This is what Florida Pro Days are supposed to be like. Head coaches walking around. Urban Meyer here back in Gainesville. Uh, Zach Taylor, Matt Rule have RSVP. Brian Flores is here. So there's a lot of attention. This feels different, man. The amount of talent we're seeing so far, well, it's going to be a heck of a day. Well, that's what we want here, obviously, right? You, I mean, you want to have the players that, uh, and the talent of the players of these guys that are continuing to work, get better, and have the opportunity to go on and play at the next level. I know every, every young guy's dream, you know, they, the young kids, they dream of having the opportunity to go play at Florida, and then they have the dream of the opportunity to go to the NFL, and it's great to have, see these guys having the opportunity to go out and show what they can do and, and live their dreams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. 11 4, Wilson. I'll show up and run, then I want to plant and drive right back downhill, and coach going to give you the ball right here. Now, what we're looking for, sharp break, don't round it right there so you can put the ground in transition, all right? Come on, going to be great. It's going to be this, Marco. When you know all eyes are on you, it is easy to crumble under pressure. But when you have been through as much as Marco Wilson has, there is no greater pleasure in the world than to prove the doubters wrong. He's a really intriguing prospect. You just look at the feet and the movement and the length and the body type. He can play outside, he can play inside. This is a NFL starting caliber player. I see a longer guy. I see a guy that he played boundary corner most of the time but he could be a nickel guy. He could be lining up on the slot. He ran well today. I think he's got an upside because he's got some of that alpha dog in him right now because he loves the physical contact of the sport. Look at his body. His body tells you right now that this guy is built to be a DB in the NFL. Good work, 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 good work,
You know, I'm so proud of him because that's my little brother, and uh, he's doing amazing things today. You know, 4-3, jump 43, 11-4 bra, you know what I'm saying? So definitely way better than all my numbers, so I'm proud as hell of him. And, you know, just him being a Gator as well, you know, I love the Gators, so just seeing him following in the same footsteps and, and doing big things is all I can ask for. I feel like um, I came out here and performed uh, like I needed to. Uh, some things I wish I could have did a little bit better, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy. I'm thankful that God just uh, gave me the ability to come out here and just perform how I needed to. Um, and I'm really just excited to uh, continue to put in the work in uh, necessary to just go to the next level and just be successful there. With one group left to go, all eyes were now on the Gators' offense. The work has been done. The plan is in place. It's time for Kyle Trask and his pass catchers to put on a show. I'm excited for him, man. He uh, finally getting his chance to go show everybody what he can do. I'm just, just excited to see what he can do out here. Here you go. Yeah, you got the first one. Uh, hey, slam on the right. right. Yeah, slam on the right. It's interesting, Roman, when you talk about where Kyle Trask is, probably but the fifth quarterback when when you're talking about fifth or sixth as far as the hype coming into this year's draft? Kyle Trask has to show that he has the ability to be able to push the ball with some velocity and there's second tier intermediate to deeper throws those deep comebacks those deep in breaking routes he also needs to be able to show that as well. That he does he throws with tremendous accuracy and he knows where to go with the football this guy is a student of the game you know he's going to be prepared you know he's going to know the game plan and you know he's going to get the ball to the playmakers around him You can hit Kyle in the deep over, right to left. You're going to keep her left, flipping your hips. Okay. when we saw just an uh, overall impressive day. Yes, for sure. The guy, to me, improved his stock. Hey. Oh, uh, we're... No time again. Proud of y'all, bro. Yeah, proud of y'all. We'll see you for real. Hey, hey, for sure. Proud of you, bro. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. I love y'all, boy. Good work. Kyle, I'm proud of you, bro. I'm so proud of Kyle. Uh, you know, he's a tremendous young man, and you know, it's good to see him today. Uh, get out there and, and and spin it. You know, he, he looked like he's done a great job training and preparing his body, getting himself ready to go for this opportunity. And I couldn't be prouder of him. Uh, you know, he's obviously a pleasure to coach, a pleasure to be around. When I see a guy that puts in that type of work. You have to put in that work to be successful at the next level. But I think he just has a great demeanor. I think he's unflappable. I, I can see why in big games he's played so well, because he just has that calm demeanor about him. Here with Florida quarterback Kyle Trask, after an absolutely tremendous workout, do you feel like you helped yourself? Uh, I think so. Um, you know, from you saying that to me, <laughs> it really makes me feel better. But, you know, we'll, we'll find out late April if that, you know, truly helped me out in the end. Very few balls hit the ground. How much did you love those 60 or 65 yard bombs that oh, landed in receiver's part. hands? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, just the, those are what we call like the show off throws. Yep. So it was fun to let it rip. Uh, you know, the body's feeling good, arms feeling good. And I just thought we, we came in here and executed exactly, you know, pretty, pretty close to how we wanted to. And, yep. you know, hopefully it'll help us in the end. How much does it help when you're thrown to that tight end of yours? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, Pitts is, he's a remarkable athlete. and. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure just to play with him yep. for the past couple of years, and you know, I'm really you know, excited to see uh, uh, you know, how these next couple of years yeah. will treat him. Oh, good work, boy. Man, you know how we do, man. You know, Gators, man. We come in putting in work, Gators. man. Show we made up, you know what I'm saying? For life. Yes, sir. For air. Brotherhood.